Um, all right, man. Go ahead, uh, Black Scale, man. Take it away, baby. Yes, sir. All right. So, about that time to hear about some Call of Duty. We in the year of something new. Was it? This is Treyarch's turn, right? That's how they do it. So, basically, we're getting closer and closer to a new Call of Duty. I know people can't get enough of their Call of Duty. That's some. That's the only game some people play. So I know this is news for them. So data miners have found references following the latest Warzone update that Black Ops 6 codename servers will be revealed later this month. The game files contain, oh, I have to open this up. The game files contain the reference, quote, S3 underscore Cerberus underscore reveal, end quotes, on multiple occasions and a data mine Call of Duty 2024 blueprint Reveal Sally Six and Tally, suggesting that this year her title will be dubbed simply Call of Duty Black Ops Six, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Which is crazy because I was like, "Where's Black Ops Five? That it's <laughs> Cold like, War. There, there it is. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. odd. I like, get yeah, whatever, but okay. But <laughs> data miners have also found references to Frank Woods, operator for Modern Warfare Three and Warzone, most likely as a pre-order bonus for Black Ops Six, with the Xbox showcase coming up in June. Seems like a perfect time to reveal a new Call of Duty. What are you guys' thoughts on this supposed X or uh, Black Ops Six? I'll start with you, Nova. Bro, I've been off of Call of Duty for a long time, man. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I think the probably the last Call of Duty that I really solidly played was probably like Black Ops Three or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so it's been a while. So um, it's kind of hard for me to get excited for, for Call of Duty games these days. Uh, I know that it has a huge crowd of people that are still playing it. Warzone's dope, actually. So let me take that back. I, I did play Warzone, you know. Mm. But no, nah, um, maybe uh, Black Ops 6 would be super dope, man, and we can hop back on it. Like, uh, as long as I got the homies to play, you know, then I'm definitely going to play it. So mm. that's pretty much where I'm at with it. But it'll be dope to hear some, some stuff uh, about a new Call of Duty in general. But the one thing that stood out is like data miners, man. It's like ain't nothing safe these days. Like you can't no. drop nothing no more. It's almost to the point to where you don't even get surprised. Like the surprises these days are the leaks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As a consumer, we don't get a chance to just be like, all right, there's something cool, new, interesting dropping tomorrow. And we talk about it because it's all new to us anymore. Like I feel like that's a, definitely a thing of the past, man. Mm hmm. I agree. There's definitely no more surprises. Not like we all we are expecting almost everything. That's just the information highway that we're on, though. That's mm-hmm. how it is. Uh, what do you think, uh, Viking? Talk Bro, about <laughs> everybody knew that shit was was uh was Call of Duty uh Black Ops 6. <laughs> as soon as I don't even know why they tried. Did y'all see the announcement? for the showcase june 9th i saw the redacted part like bro the, yeah. i was like come on that's call of duty black ops 6 like stop playing we can, <laughs> like we can see some words make out like come on bro like mm-hmm. now unless they do a complete 180 and it's like some division shit or something like that but like we know where that head from the three-headed dog like come on bro no. you ain't have yeah. to redact that but <laughs> But I'm sure that, I mean, that was a good way for people to talk about it more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, I mean, everybody was talking about, like, why you redact that? <laughs> or, right. Like, mm-hmm. um, Lots of people said it's going to be Black Ops 6 Gulf War. That'd be okay. really good, man. I'm mad at it. Um, yeah. my I think my only thing with, with Call of Duty is I hope they correct their mistake with the last one. I don't know if they had enough time to, but um, because they've released these shits every year, and I hope that they slow down on that. Um, I hope they go to a more live service every three year new installment type of thing. Um, every yeah, about every three years, um, to give these motherfuckers a break, bro, and then and then like really work on it. Um, because yeah, the car they, they might- can't. Well, go ahead. Sorry, I was just gonna say they might just keep the um the live service game as just Warzone and just keep that going and while, while releasing the other ones in parallel with it too. Oh, that's what they've been doing, but like every year, every year, I was like, bro, that's crazy, they've been doing that bro. shit for a long time now, though. They have, man, they, and that's why it's like 
you can't expect the new Call of Duty to have crazy new ideas and stuff if they're doing it every single year. That's why I yeah. thought the split was cool because, you know, you got the Black Ops coming out one yeah. year and then the regular one and then the Black Ops. I was like, okay, that's a way because those games do feel different. So at right. least, like, you're getting two different types of game per, like, you know, right. cycle. So I mm-hmm. – I think it has, but like millions of people like play the the multiplayer portion of Call of Duty versus like the Warzone, but like millions of players, yeah. bro. Like I mostly play the multiplayer part versus Warzone. Like I, I prefer really the multiplayer fuck. too. I, yeah. don't like, I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. And Warzone didn't have rank for a long time either. So I was like, what the fuck are we playing for? And then people talk shit. It's like, bro, you can't even prove to me how good you are because there's mm-hmm. no rank. So stop yeah. talking shit. <laughs> and they be cheating yeah. their ass off on there too. Yeah, yeah they do. Um, but yeah, two like they reason said two to three years is fine with him. Like, just work on that fucking campaign, bro. Bring the old heads back. You know what I mean? Like the campaigns are getting shorter and I shorter. Think they're phasing them out, damn. And shorter there. and mm-hmm. shorter, bro. Like the campaigns used to be fire, really good. Mm-hmm. Like no straight rushing. fire. To this day, no rushing is one of no, the best yeah. ever made. I don't mm-hmm. care. That shit had me like. No Russian was great. There, there was a lot of great sequences in God. What was the futuristic one? Infinite uh, uh, Warfare. Yes, was there were some good sequences on that shit too, man. Mm-hmm. Um, but No Russian was crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. No Russian. That's the game. If you if you did that mission in front of your parent, you're done. You're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. Yeah, a hundred percent, bro. For sure. I'm so, I'm surprised that shit got passed. Anything, bro. That shit was crazy. I, yeah, it was crazy. I, I, that's why I used. That's why video games. Are so I love them shit so For much. That, like, yeah, yeah, that, that was man. Call of Duty Warzone three, right or two? Modern Warfare. My yeah, no I Russian. think that was one. Modern Warfare two. That was two. Yeah. yeah. Out um, the airport and all that other stuff. Yeah. yeah when so. that? So when did that release? I'm trying to think of the time. Xbox 360. That's all I know. Ah, such a good time. See, that's what we had in those times. We had that. 2000, <laughs> 2009. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, let me ask y'all real quick, though, like, uh, because you said that, you know, you want the campaign to come back. And I feel like oftentimes on the podcast, we keep talking about the next generation of gamers are more focused on multiplayer games, man. Is this another yeah. fossil, you know? want for us you know as people that's been playing it for a while and this is something that we love out of the game um but does the next generation love call of duty specific campaign for real well i th- i so i don't think single like single player games has like yes you have that aspect of you you're appeasing several different audiences with call of duty every year right like you have your old heads that buy it for the for just for the campaign and nothing else. They don't even play multiplayer, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you got people like me that just do. I don't fuck with Warzone, but I just do single player, like the campaign, and then multiplayer, or whatever. Um, so I think you're appeasing a lot of different audiences on that front. Mm-hmm. Um, I th- I don't know what the the time is like and they have that data so they i'm sure they know if there's been a drop off or whatever but there's also been a drop off in quality when it comes to the campaign because if you if you think about it call of duty has the best used to have the best first person shooter campaign i agree since Call of Duty, the old, the world one, any of the yeah. World War II Call of Duties, boy, I remember getting off that ship and running onto that. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. Oh, whoa. Oh, bro. my God. Funny story about that. I just bought my first surround sound for my room mm. for that. So, like, I tested it out playing Saving Private Ryan. I was like, oh, this is Ooh. lit. And then, because Saving Private Ryan just came to DVD or whatever. Mm. And then I. Yeah, I played that. Uh, fuck, was it World War One? World, World at Two? War. World at War, bro. That yeah. shit was crazy. Crazy, bro. The Riding on the boat, bro. It was insane, bro. And then like you had the ringing effect or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, bro. Yep. 
That's why, I, and that's why maybe to the point is that we know what them campaigns used to be, so we expect we that's the bar is high for us for sure because yeah. we know what the, mm -hmm. where we came from. These new generation, they only know Warzone and multiplayer. Like they're probably yeah. not even touching campaign, especially because you gotta, especially because you gotta download stuff in increments now. So you might not even download the campaign type shit. It's like I don't even have that shit installed, bro. It's only we only doing multiplayer. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. And, that's just sure. sad truth. Yeah, man, because they may they them as a company, they may be seeing it like, all right, well, we can spend all of this money creating this amazing campaign that maybe a small subset of the customer base will play, yeah. you know, or we can just spend more time and effort in the areas that the people are actually playing. And just the for the campaign, the juice just ain't worth the squeeze anymore. Well, they ain't making they, no money from but, campaigns. But, but let, yeah, they are because why why else? Would you charge seventy dollars for it to for, get you in the door they, to get you? They, they could have, it has a battle pass. They it has a battle 70. pass. It has a store. I'm not paying seventy dollars full price for. We talked about this mm -hmm. for a game that has heavy microtransactions and battle pass. I agree with you. I'm, I'm with mm -hmm. you, but they yeah. will pay that seventy just for what their multiplayer. I think. I yeah, think I think Warzone. Yeah. Like, I think Warzone will be a free thing always. But the most player would they I think they'll they just pay for that. Because I mean, I don't get me wrong, after a while, yeah. after you beat the campaign, that's all you're playing. And and I look, I'm with you. Right. I think for to be a full price game, I think you should have all that stuff. So I'm there mm. with you, but I don't think they give a shit anymore. I just I just don't think I'm that. willing to bet there would be not a steep, but a steep enough complaint mm. and loss of funds if that happened if like we're releasing call of duty there's no story mm -hmm. it's only multiplayer and it's 70 dollars. now what if there, it, no story but you have zombies <laughs> so, no man, you have the pve content yeah no, no. For, yeah you could do that because zombies you I could think but get people to buy it too i don't think so i think that's still multiplayer like i agree it in is. A sense. it's like i don't i just feel like i don't know what they're gonna i just know people are so into call of duty it don't matter they're yeah. buying that shit but i am i'm with you that it should cost 70 for a complete game i'm right there with you I'm yeah right. i think i i think the uh I think it's it's palatable. Even like people complain super heavy about how short the campaign was mm -hmm. on this one. They did, and so, it being yeah. and it being the first. I think it was the first seventy dollar Call of Duty. I think the last one was sixty. Oh, the first to make the switch. So, yeah, and then you're getting less content essentially. Yep, yep. yep. Um, and you, you people really bitched about that. Like people having, did complain about the short campaign. I remember seeing that everywhere for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it didn't just to be like, oh, well, we're still charging you 70, but we scrapping the whole campaign. Mm -hmm. No fucking like ghost. And, no and like, what, <laughs> what do these characters mean anymore for me? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're like, right. No, nah, motherfuckers would Twitter would be on fire. <laughs> See, but I don't know. I think, man. It, I, like, I think it'll be one of those blizzard moments like you guys don't have phones. I would be just like that. Whenever they, <laughs> whenever they announced uh what's the name? Uh yeah, like me just looking at how they responded to it being an a, extremely short campaign and it being like a a joke, mm -hmm. right? Let's me know that if there was no campaign now, if they charge like forty dollars, okay, yeah, right. That to me that that makes sense. It's like hell divers territory. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. But charging seventy, yeah, and no campaign, and it's the same as multiplayer mm -hmm. because this multiplayer has. I mean, this one has zombies and yeah. PVE and all that, right? Mm -hmm. No, nah, Twitter would, I mean, like, yeah, socials would be crazy. And I think they would lose money on that. Specifically, yeah. like, what what could they do, like, that would be like, oh, snaps, like, I need to play this. What could they show you, you know, in the reveal? That's like, all right, this is for me. I mean, I guess don't change it up to, like, because, like, the multiplayer to me is already good, like, really good. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, at, 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 at first, I wasn't a huge fan of like the crazy ass 
um skins and shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's grown on me, bro. Them shits is funny as hell now. Or whatever. What the fuck about the Nicki Minaj? I was like, that's kind of funny. Yeah, they, <laughs> they do like bunnies and cats and like all kinds of crazy shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like it's a, it doesn't take itself seriously in the multiplayer anymore. So that's cool. Um like the 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 kill joints is cool. Um mm-hmm. I really don't know for multiplayer, man. Like, cause I, I always have a good time with the multiplayer portion. I think my only gripe has always been campaign. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and you about, can be you critical know. on a campaign for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I really haven't had any. That's just me though. Like I play that shit mad casually, bro. Like I, mm. like, I, I just sit down. I want to play a couple matches. I have a good time. And I'm off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so like, yeah, I've never gotten deep into it, so I'm like a super casual Call of Duty player, bro. Mm, like, so thank you. yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. uh, what's name brought up that? Uh, um, and I had to look it up while you guys were talking, which is why I was probably a little fucked up. Uh, Jazel said, um, Black Ops 4, oh, I saw that. uh, with 60 with no campaign, mm-hmm. whatever, and he is right, it did not have campaign. Um, but price. consequently, Black Ops 4 lost some sales due to its decision to cater only to a section of its fan base. And if Black Ops 4 was also con- considered a commercial disappointment. Mm. Um, sure. Yeah. There's always someone who's saying that shit weak. There's always, <laughs> with the Call of Duty, there's always like, nah, shit whack. This one's better. Black Ops 2 is goaded. Types. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's still number eleven on the charts as far as most sold Call of Duty, right? Damn. Uh, that's a lot of Call of Duties, man. What's number no, one? Black Ops, the first one, is the most sold. Wow, yeah. where's Modern Warfare two? Uh, Modern Warfare three was second. What? Dang. Bla- Black Ops two was three. Damn, Modern Warfare one and two didn't sell. That's oh, they sold, but I Those, know Black Ops sold though. People love my love blops. This is this is um <laughs> yeah, the, then Black Ops uh, Call of Duty Ghost number four, Black Ops three, five, Warfare, Modern Warfare Two was number six. Okay, is that the new one or the old one? The, the old one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Damn. And then advanced warfare number seven, World mm-hmm. War Two. Uh, eight and then modern warfare, the original was nine mm-hmm. world at war. Yeah, 10. War. Nobody yeah. likes world at war, but I don't get it. I, like, did. I, I did too. The dogs yeah. get out. Mm-hmm. Was yep. Is it? Is it? It had old ass weapons, did yeah, it? Yeah, it's the old, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's the reason why people, but, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like the weapons were strong though. You know how sometimes they give you them old ass weapons and they don't really be hitting for real. You might have one or two weapons, but nah, yeah. like they had the dogs, bro. At least the dogs, the bouncing Bettys, the yeah. sticky yeah. grenade, bro. They was going crazy. Was right. I think that yeah. was the first uh, zombie introduction too. Was War. I think War. so too. Yep. Pretty, okay. As a side thing, not even a serious thing, and it became the biggest part about the game at one point. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. y'all really like zombies. But but gentlemen. All those Call of Duties I just listed off <laughs> this year, mm. gentlemen. This year, servers back on, um, mm. campaign available, every single one of them on Game Pass. Dang. Mm. Tell servers me, on, servers on. Whenever the deal Dude. went through for um, for uh, the ABK deal. Them servers came back online. That yeah, is we, so cool, though. Like, so you mm-hmm. people can just go back and play whichever one they want with multiplayer Perfect. and stuff. Yes, yes. That's hard. Mm-hmm. So as long as they get that integration done, well, bro, listen, uh, all of them. Is there 16, 17, or 18 of the motherfuckers? Bro, they're all coming. Game <laughs> that is crazy to think about. That is a lot of freaking uh, Call of Duties. It's Black Ops Six, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, what? bro. I'm playing so many of them campaigns back, bro. I feel because like. a lot of them I had physical. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I probably mm-hmm. trade them shits in. Oh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? 
<laughs> well, Modern Warfare got traded right with Modern Warfare 2. Come on, man. Yeah. I didn't keep old. I didn't never keep them. Game, GameStop gave you all but two bucks for that. <laughs>